Whenever you're ready, Mother Love, you are hot. And we are back. You are watching the Mother Love Show right here on the YouTube channel. This beautiful lady is Dr. Letitia Wright, and we are getting just a plethora of positive information about crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. You were talking with me during the break about this, this initiative at, at, Sta at Stanford University. Tell us about that and how you got involved. Well, I got an invite, um, and what happens is that President Obama, every year for his whole presidency, has been doing a global entrepreneur seminar. Mm -hmm. I just heard about it. I just heard about it. And uh, an ambassador here from LA mm -hmm. uh, helped me plug in with the right people and I got an invite and I went up. It, almost every country in the world was represented at this oh, conference. 170 com of 70 yes. countries? Yes. Wow. One of my biggest crowdfunding clients was there on the crowdfunding panel. She was speaking. She she created a game called Goldie Blocks, and so she was there. That was great. But President Obama was there, of course, and that was great. Okay. He showed up. And it was like, it, you would have seen all these entrepreneurs. Now imagine entrepreneurs. They're all in suits. They're all walking around. But when it came time to see him uh -huh. on stage, they were screaming like they were at a rock, rock concert. concert. It was like, okay, sit down. It's like, ah! It was like crazy. And they don't, they just don't know what to do about President Barack Hussein Obama, two-time president. He is a rock star. When he, he leaves the rock White rock House, he's going to be the biggest paid, highest paid president speaker in the world. In the world. I'm just saying, because he, he got it. Yeah, he got he was, swagger. He was interviewing some of the winners of the different contests, uh, and they were just like, they couldn't even star answer. They're just sitting there like. Uh, okay. Oh, is that why you said I can ask you anything? You ask I, anything. Look, after the summit shoot, I can ask you. You can ask me but anything. But here's the thing. Uh, crowdfunding was a big part of that. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was a lot of talk about that, how to use it. These companies, Kind, PayPal, I mean, just all these huge companies are investing hundreds of millions of dollars in entrepreneurs around the world because outside of the U.S., 50% of the population is under the age of 30. Are under 30, and there are some of them still don't have access to the internet yet, so the infrastructure has to be laid down. You know, the, the software, the hardware has to be built, the si si systems have to be built. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars in jobs, and people have got to stop being afraid to travel. To abroad. travel abroad and to, and to really get out there and make partnerships abroad. Mm -hmm make partnerships well. Right now, I'm talking with a young lady from Namibia. She's trying to figure out how to get this stuff out. Okay. If I can make that happen, that's going to be Oh, no, awesome. no, no, darling. Listen, we don't do if. We like Yoda. We when. do. When. There you go. <laughs> when it we happens. When. when it happens. So, the thing is with crowdfunding is I really want people to understand that it is a big deal. When you are asking for the crowdfunding, you have to do a project that makes sense to your tribe. Mm -hmm. These are your people. You're not in there to rip them off. You're in there to have not only raise money, but an experience. And you got to be transparent you with You must it. be. Now, you said you got to have a plan because it's mm -hmm. not magic money. It's not fairy money. It's just not going to, like, fall out of the sky. Mm -hmm. Talk about the plan. So here's the thing. We well, A lot of times I, I do a lot of different projects, and so I kind of customize plans for people. So I don't, I don't do general, but here's general. Mm -hmm. One of the things is you must know exactly who your tribe is and where you can find them. You cannot say everybody because if you're... Unless you're selling air, what you have is not for everybody. <laughs> not for everybody. Okay. So who is your tribe? Who's that perfect mother love fan besides me? <laughs> Who's that perfect Thank mother you. love fan mm -hmm. who comes to your things? So she buys your, he or she buys your books. They come to your conferences when you Gotta speak. know who the market you is. You have to know who your market is. Not just the market. It, one of the yours. things that my husband used to, and he still makes me do when I go out and speak, mm -hmm. he has a sheet that c captures everybody's phone number, their mm -hmm. email address. And I'm like, why am I getting their email address? You know, I don't know this many people with a computer. And then all of a sudden, you know, I got like 5,000 mm -hmm. people, you know, in my database exactly. or, what, or what have you. And you were saying something that was really interesting. You said that to make your campaign successful, you really only need a thousand people to respond. So if I've got five thousand people that I can reach out to my tribe with, mm -hmm. I really only need a thousand of them to be if successful. If a thousand of them can respond okay. at the levels that you need, you okay. can be successful. So you don't need the whole world. You okay. see, a lot of people are like, oh, "I got to advertise to the whole world." No, but you do have to deeply, deeply connect with the tribe and let them know what they're doing. 
let them know it's coming. Mm -hmm. Don't spring it on them like you haven't talked to them in for years and then go, hey, mother love, well, yeah. I got my book. Give me $10. Well, that's what I haven't they talked that's... to you in years. <laughs> Come on. So, and now you want $10? Now you want $10. So you, you have to massage it. You have to let them know what's coming down the line. And then... And keep them engaged. Keep them engaged. Engagement is the name of the game. And many times the only engagement is give me money. I literally had a LinkedIn email. I saved it. It's the worst email I've ever gotten from a guy who said, Dr. Wright, we're connected on LinkedIn. I've never called you, never connected with you, never emailed you, never sent you anything. I don't follow you on anything. I don't talk to you. But I'm crowdfunding and I'd like you to send me $50. Okay, and there you have it. <laughs> I'm just gonna send you fifty dollars. And then I was wondering if I was like being a little stalkerish when I'm, you know, connecting with people on LinkedIn oh. and just saying, "Hey, I just wanted to say hello, see how you were doing, and invite you to come a big guest on my program, yeah, let the perfect. world know what it is that you're doing." Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not stalking. No, link no LinkedIn is very very corporate. Now yes. LinkedIn is is like being in the boardroom. Mm -hmm. Twitter is like a conversation in the hallway. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> and it's, Instagram it's, is it's, even it, yeah. pictures. And so it's it's very very um loot, but LinkedIn is. Very very corporate, but you must connect with however your tribe likes to connect. Mm -hmm. If they like you on LinkedIn, then stay on LinkedIn. If they like you on Twitter, then stay on Twitter. If they're digging Instagram now because you're using that or mm -hmm. Snapchat, then talk with them there. But you must connect. Number one, you you must connect. Yes. You must connect because that's how you keep the tribe together. But also you must connect because you're a very loving person. People are not just reaching out to you because they want an email from you. They're feeling that love. Oh, are you kidding me? People they write me, tell me their entire life story. Mm -hmm. And I'm so spastic, I sit there and read their entire life story. <laughs> now, you have an event coming up yes. on the 29th. Let's talk about that. Now, is crowdfunding going to be uh, be discussed in this com in this summit? As much as I can. I'm going to be in a panel, so I can't take over the panel, but Dr. George Frazier will be there. It's at PowerNetworkingLosAngeles.com. Power Networking. LosAngeles.com. You can go and get a number there. I also give you a telephone number. You can call for tickets. 562-450-5702. <clears throat> Live on the 29th, I'll be there. I'd love to meet you in person. I'll be talking about crowdfunding. You'll get to meet Dr. George Frazier. And then I'll be there afterwards to answer your questions because, you know, it's hard to get what you need out of a little bit, but I'm very, very happy to share with people about crowdfunding. And hey, can I give away a little uh, free ebook? Oh yeah, sure. Absolutely. Your book is it going to be your yes, book? Yes, my book. Okay. okay, maybe you won't get that. I might be getting that book. Okay. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a free ebook okay. that you can download it. So just text. Ready, you guys? Text love L O V E to nine zero nine nine zero six nine seven nine seven again. Love to 909-906-9797. It'll give you all the information. Again, it's 909-906-9797. You get the free book. It'll tell you about the top 25 sites. It'll give you the basis of understanding crowdfunding. And from there, whatever else you read, you'll be able to assess it and take it in. See, now don't say I don't do anything for, okay, well doctors, Dr. Wright is doing something for you. Thank you so Thank very you. much for letting us Thank dig into that beautiful head of yours and calm a lot of the fears that people have about crowdfunding. Give my love to Dr. George Fraser. Tell him I said, oh, no, he, don't tell him that because he's going to be like, why you're behind in here? <laughs> Where and is she? Can you call her? He'll yeah. say, pull out your phone. Let's call, call her, her right, right now. now. Let's get that's your butt what... over here. I, <laughs> he's my friend. I've been knowing him for 112 years. And remember, babies, no matter how big or tall, short or small, thick or thin, it matters not what skin you're in. Everybody needs some mother love now and then. Did I just flub my own name? Everybody needs some mother love now and then. Peace. We 